So in this uh, video, we will see how we can use set collections. Sets are a collection of elements. The elements of the set must be unique. Duplicates are not stored in the sets more than once. It's easy to check and retrieve elements from the set. It is a fast uh, process. And since the sets are sorted, stored in a sorted order, it's easy to go through the set elements. In, the, in this video, we will see how different operations are performed using sets and we will be learning how to use sets in LabVIEW. So let's create a new VI for our for learning how to use set collections. Let's save this VI. Let's call it using a set collection. On the front panel, we will have two string controls. for taking the inputs for the sets string 1 and string 2 these will be the controls for inputting different strings into the set collection then we will go through a while loop we we'll use a while loop for going through this string. For parsing through the string, we will use a LabVIEW string function called scan for strings, scan string for tokens. We'll pass this string to this function and we will increase offset. We will be moving forward through the string using this uh, offset. For that, we will use a shift register for storing the offset. Let's initialize it to 0. And if the string offset is less than zero then we will close this loop since the offset would be zero less than zero if no further string is found uh, use cached delimiter uh, the option uh, for this uh, uh, scan for string labview vi uh, for that not equal to zero if this is not the first iteration then use the cache delim delimiter our, our delimiter would be default uh, delimiter which is uh, slash s uh, uh, space then we will be using insert into set vi this vi will insert the strings into sets we will be storing 
we will use this set constant let's replace this tunnel with a shift register and we will be building this um, set by storing the string but uh, to lower case we will use this function so that we store all functions in lowercase to prevent uppercase and lowercase differences so that the string same string whether it's in uppercase lowercase or proper case it's stored only once so let's uh, create the another loop uh, the other loop for this uh, second string since we will be comparing these strings to show how string uh, set functions are used the code is same next we will show this these two sets let's create a indicator and let's see uh, show this will be set one and this would be set number two next we would be using some set functions to go through the these two sets for that we will use a function called set union we will combine these two sets the set number one and set number Next, we will use the set difference. It will do the opposite. It will show us the differences between the two uh, the two sets. Next, we will use set symmetric difference function. Between the set number one and set number two, then we will use set intersection. Between set number one and set number two. So the result of the union we will show in a indicator. It will show us uh, set one plus set two. That is members of both sets. Difference we will show in this indicator and this will show us set 1 minus set 2 that is all the members that are present in set 1 but not in set 2 for symmetric difference 
we will use this indicator which will show us uh, the elements that are only present only in in set uh, in set 1 next uh, let's create an indicator which will show us elements that are common to both set 1 and set 2 so let's just clean up our uh, code let's save this uh, vi and we are done with the coding part is our code by initializing also this shift register and this one also let's clean up again and then let's go and work on our uh, front panel let's show the set one here and set two here and then we will show the union the differences the symmetric differences and the intersection over here Let's enlarge these arrays. The sets and these one too. So let's go and test our code. Uh, for our test, let's write some strings. Let's write some numbers. And the second string. Let's repeat it to see if the set stores uh, uh, repeated strings let's run the code so as we can see that the set number two does did not uh, carry store uh, the repeated string only the unique items were stored in the uh, union uh, all strings were carried once 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 that is uh, the strings that were present both in this and set 1 and set 2 only once in the differences uh, we can see that uh, uh, 1 that is a uh, difference between set 1 minus set 2 that is uh, all the elements that are present in only set 1 so we see that 1 3 and 2 but not 4 4 is present in uh, the second and uh, second uh, second uh, set and it was eliminated in symmetric differences uh, we see that one two three but not 4. 4 is common to both and it was eliminated and 
then uh, 5, 6 and 7. That is only the common element was removed and all the uncommon were uh, shown. In the intersection, we see that only the string 4 uh, was present in both sets and uh, it was carried. So uh, this is how we can use uh, sets uh, in LabVIEW. Hope this helped you in your programming. Thanks for watching and please keep visiting the channel for more LabVIEW related videos.